A proposed new platform for the Cape Flyer is put on hold for now. Marina and Mooring waitlists are due next week, and we'll learn about a new Cape Cod Conference for Women. On this episode of Barnstable Today, it's Thursday, February 12th, 2015. I'm Sarah Mannell. A proposed new rail platform for the Cape Flyer in Bourne is put on hold for now. Cape Cod Regional Transit Administrator Tom Kerr attributes the delay to public concerns and weather. So we, we were moving ahead thinking that this was a great idea, and I still think it's a great idea. And then, of course, the, the weather came. Um, we're up against it because May, Memorial Day is in May, and we're trying to get the thing built. And with all this snow... To do the bid and go through the process, we, we really made a decision earlier this week that we wouldn't be able to get it done this year anyway. And, and then there was uh, a couple of folks in town in the town of Bowen actually that, that did voice concern about it, which surprised me really because uh, I still don't think that you know the, their arguments you know have a lot of merit because. Uh, uh, you know, I just don't think they do. I, I've lived in Bourne my whole life, but I respect their opinions, and I like them. They're my friends. So uh, I felt that because there wasn't unanimity and a consensus on it, that uh, we shouldn't force it down the town leader's throat if if, if it isn't going to get done anyway in time for the season. So. Kara says he will continue to discuss a new rail platform with Bourne town leaders in hopes of coming to a consensus in the next few months. If you are on a town marina or mooring waitlist, it's time to fill out your renewal form. The deadline is February 15th, but paperwork will be accepted through Tuesday, February 17th, as the 15th falls on a weekend. For more information, you can contact the town's Marine and Environmental Affairs Division. A new conference for women will be held on Cape Cod in May. I got a chance to chat about the event with event creator Marie Younger Blackburn and marketing director Heather Arasway. We'll share that interview with you now. Good morning, everyone. You're watching Barnstable this morning. This morning, I am joined by Marie Younger Blackburn. She is the event visionary, creator, and coordinator for Cape Cod's first conference for women. And we have Heather Arasque, marketing director for the event. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining me this morning. Thanks for having us. This is really exciting. It's a first, the first Cape Cod women's conference. Tell me, what made you want to, to create this event? Yeah. Uh, not only am I an event planner, I am a woman who has lived on Cape Cod for the last 27 years. And in that time, um, I've grown and I've watched women uh, develop uh, themselves, their businesses, their families. And it just kind of um, sparked a desire in me to bring it together under one roof and to create a conference for women, unlike anything we've ever had here before in Cape Cod. Yeah, I was looking at, at the event pamphlet, and I have to say there's a lot of really cool women that are going to be speakers. Talk to me a, a little bit about the speakers that are going to attend this event. Okay. Uh, this year, because it is the inaugural year, it's um, Cape Cod's first, I wanted to develop a theme around that. So we gathered um, some of Cape Cod's most influential women uh, in their first in their area, in their industry. Uh, we have Dorothy Savaris, she's the uh, president of Cape Cod Five, the first woman. We have Wendy Northcross, uh, the CEO of the Chamber of Commerce. Therese Murray, she was the first woman female uh, senator uh, in Massachusetts. We also have the first firefighter of, um, in Mashpee and the first state trooper, an African American woman. So we have a really dynamic panel that will be really of interest to the women of Cape Cod. Yeah, so exciting. Uh, what kind of things do you think that they're going to address during th their talks? I mean, I know, uh, are they going to be looking at, at how they broke that glass ceiling, so to speak, on, on their journey? Yes, um, we have um, a woman named 
Donna Mack, and she is a communication specialist, and she will moderate uh, to the panel. We have formed some really poignant questions to ask them, and as well as opening it up to the audience for questioning. We have things um, like, uh, what kinds of challenges did you face when climbing onto that glass ceiling? Um, we want to know about uh, sexism in the workplace and what do they look for when hiring uh, female employees, you know? So, and where are their support systems? Where did they find their support in their roles? So we have some really uh, poignant questions and we are going to open it up for audience participation. What do you think right now are some of the, the biggest hurdles women face as they're navigating the, the workplace? I think um, I'm really interested in collaboration and women uh, working together as a unit, un not unlike your office here. Um, I think we need each other and I think we find more strength with each other than uh, separately. I think um, we sometimes see each other as competitors and of course in business you want to um, you know be first and make that dollar however I think on Cape Cod and uh, the surrounding areas I think we can get there better if we work together so I'm, I'm trying to bring uh, about more collaboration amongst women yeah really in an conference. interesting point and it's kind of what the whole conference is about it's inspiring celebration, empowerment, growth, and collaboration, bringing these women together so they can meet, find ways to work together, and just network and create relationships as well. Yeah, and, and really focus on some of the issues that are specific to women here on Cape Cod. Uh, all of these women have, have worked and, and made great success of their mm -hmm. career and can share then some wisdom uh, for others moving forward. Really exciting. I know part of the, the conference is going to have some breakout sessions. Talk to me about some of the breakout sessions and workshops. Okay. Um, we are going to have uh, the areas of finance, which is uh, relevant to all women. We're going to have networking, which will teach us some really good tools on how to do that collaboration. We're going to have time management and organization, something that I could use. Um, Heather, do you want to... Um, we're, we're also going to have we're going to have a fundraising um, breakout session leadership and there's also going to be about yourself um, coaching um, life coaching so yeah nice really important the whole package is really important when you're talking about moving forward and, and being successful in your career you're also going to have some vendors yeah it's it's kind of nice we're going to have o about 40 vendors there and there's a relax refresh and renew we have these 20 minute intervals within the schedule so that people can go out and they can do as they please they can make a phone call schedule a business meeting network they can do a little shopping so it's it's kind of encompassing all the things that women love so I'm excited Anything else you guys want to add about about the conference before we wrap up? Yeah, the conference is going to be at the Seacrest Beach Hotel in Falmouth. Um, we are currently only we only have 150 tickets left right now. Um, our website is www.drivenwomen.info, and tickets are available there. I guarantee, with, with the way everything's going, um, they're going to sell out. We're grateful to the support of Cape Cod Five um, Cent Savings Bank because they have supported us wonderfully during this event and anything else Marie? I just want to say we thought really carefully about bringing together um, a lot. My uh, slogan throughout this has been we have everything we need right here on Cape Cod. Um, I got um, you know workshop requests from all over the country and I didn't have to look far we have it right here so I think we were really thoughtful in our choices and in the people that we um, brought together to bring you Cape Cod's first conference for women. Yeah. Love it because, like you said, we have it right here. It is right here, and uh, to share what we all know and, and love is, is great. Thank you so much for telling us all about Cape Cod's first conference for women. I really appreciate it. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you so much for having us. For Burnstable this morning, I'm Sarah Mannell. And you can learn more about Driven Women by visiting the event's website at drivenwomen.info. Well, be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable This Morning, weekdays at 7 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will meet the new Barnstable High School Fine Arts Department head, Matt Kemp. We'll learn more about an upcoming youth summit with Director of Leisure Services, Patty Machado. 
Plus, we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.